Also making national headlines tonight, immigration with Hanford Congressman David Valadeo returning from a visit to the U.S.-Mexico border. Visiting alongside six other members of Congress, Valadeo traveled to El Paso on Friday, where he met with ranchers and farmers who live near the border wall. He also visited a migrant processing center and a facility temporarily housing unaccompanied minors. Valadeo says he hopes this trip will bring about change in immigration policy and awareness. I feel like it's important for all of us to go down and talk to the folks on the border, those who are living there, those who are doing their job uh, there on the border, trying to enforce our, our laws, and also take the time to talk to those who are struggling to get across our border to understand the situation so that we could have an honest and meaningful dialogue. The fact that I went down there was to make sure that folks know I'm doing what I need to do to understand the issue so that when we're pushing for policies in Washington, I have a good understanding of what's going on. Last month alone, the Border Patrol reported more than 170,000 total encounters with migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border, the highest monthly total in more than two decades. Congressman Valadeo is calling on members of Congress from both sides of the aisle, including Vice President Kamala Harris, to visit the border. She has been tasked with leading the Biden administration's policy on immigration.